YouTubers, I'm having the final lager from Schmaltz Brewing Company's Coney Island series. And that is going to be their bourbon barrel aged human blockhead. So as you saw in the human blockhead video that I, I just did, um, that's a, a Doppelbach, you know, kind of this German heavily malted up style. And so they put it in bourbon barrels, so it's like makes it even more malty, more sweet, supposedly. It's a 10% beer, and I'm pretty much looking forward to this one, so let me go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you how it is. If you remember my video, um, this thing was pretty sweet without the bourbon. So I'm just, oh my gosh, look at the color. It's like it's almost turning red. It almost has this kind of like orangish red color too. That's crazy. A lot of head too for 10%. Um, let me check the aroma on this thing here. Wow. Wow, that smells great. And just like the regular one, it smells awesome. But this one has plenty of bourbon. A lot of this like dried vanilla kind of smell. Yeah, I'm getting, getting those dried van vanilla beans uh, kind of aroma. I get toffee, I get I get this heavy caramel. Yeah, man, bourbon barrels, that'll really do it, especially to a Doppelbach style. Mmm, so sweet, and yeah, the, the caramel and toffee is definitely present in this thing. Well, I think that's pretty much about it, so let me go ahead and give it a try here. Come by. Wow, that's, oh man, that actually takes you on a journey. Wow, that's, that's really good. Um, I, I just had this fleeting thought, but um, I, I'll tell you later what, what was going through my mind. Um, so right off the bat, you get plenty of that heavy, almost syrupy caramel kind of taste. Toffee, um, it's pretty dry. Uh, just right up, right up, like not even after the finish. Uh, it's dry from the start, and you get a lot of bourbon. It gets this like heavy, boozy bourbon, but it's not overly boozy though, which is surprising because it has bourbon and it's 10%. But at the end, not only the, the taste of it is chocolatey, which is great, but the kind of it has that texture to it, it has that chocolatey texture to this. Wow, this is really awesome. And this is kind of on the cold side too. Um, I, I'm, I'm guessing like if it warms up, it'll definitely bring out more of that sweetness. And as the carbonation chills out, it, it definitely will. Um, yeah, I, 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 no, this is really good. The mouth feels medium. And I think, considering that there's a lot of carbonation, I think that plays into that. But still, the, the overall body is pretty medium, and I mean, it, it is a double buck, it's a lager, so it doesn't have to be this heavy, thick kind of syrupiness. Although, although there, there are some German double bucks that are, like, like the Corbinian. Uh, that one is like a German quad, but this doesn't really quite have that kind of thickness to it. Yeah, I, I love that taste. The taste is just so good. Like I said, it starts off caramel and toffee. Um, definitely like that, that coconutty vanilla kind of tasting notes, but then the bourbon really takes over from the middle and just, just carries throughout. And the, 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 the chocolatey ending is just so awesome. I really like this. Now, uh, I was gonna tell you just a, a thought that went through my mind right off the start is that like when I first had the regular human blockhead, it was, you know, it was really, really good, but after, especially after one glass, I just did not want any more. It was just so sweet and just so much. So I'm guessing with this one, it's going to be the same. So I'm, I'm glad I'm here at my friend's house and I'm going to be splitting the bottle because for me, and maybe certain people, they're okay with drinking it. And, and I like bourbons, you know, I, I tend to veer towards on a scotch, but I, I do like bourbons. But to have an entire 22 ounce of this, I don't know, I think, I think that's just a little too much malt for my taste. Uh, so that's just kind of my two cents on that. Um, I, I think I would prefer this colder because when it's when it's when, when it warms up, it'll definitely bring up a lot of that, um, and as the carbonation kind of calms down too. But I think the the colder temperature and the amount of carbonation that this has really helps out with drinking this beer, makes it very drinkable. Um, because uh, colder, it kind of just negates that syrupy aspect, and the carbonation cleanses your palate, so it it doesn't, it doesn't become too much. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, I saw the ratings on, online, but I'm going to have to give this an A-. minus. This is actually quite good. Now, drinking an entire bottle might be a little too much because it is strong, so share it with your friends. Uh, I could definitely see how some people would be like, eh, about it, but 
That's what I give it. I, I really think this is an A minus beer, and I, I, they did a good job with that. I, I was just kind of taking some time to really just reconsider my rating, but no, I really think they have a good balance um, because because it is really sweet. It's a lot of flavors going on, like vanilla and toffee, you know, bourbon, all that. But just that dry finish throughout, but especially towards the end, the the, the chill when you drink it chill and the amount of carbonation. I really think it helps balance this beer out. It's, it's a straight up A- minus for me. It's, this is really good. I, I enjoy it. Uh, it's $11 uh, because it is a special barrel aged version of it. So yeah, I think this is one of the yeah better barrel aged ones, um, at least by them that, they, that I've ever had. This is really good. So anyways, this was the Bourbon Barrel Aged Human Blockhead, a barrel aged uh, Doppelbox style. Definitely good. Thank you so much to Henry for providing this because this was like straight from him. So I really appreciate that, man. And we gotta go hit up Beer Revolution sometime again. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Hebrew beer review. Come by.